This is Shamika with Upscale Hair, growing UpscaleHairStore.com, and I just want to do this quick video, nothing special, nothing particular, nothing, um, just a quick tip for some of you guys who are about to buy lace wigs or you buy your lace wigs. Lately, not even lately, probably on a normal basis, someone always asks, asks me, is that a new lace wig? And I get that a lot, seems like, you know, mostly from people that I know and I see on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And they always say, oh, you got a new wig on? You got a new lace wig? Is that new? You know what I mean? Oh, it's cute. Is that new? And they always think that it's new. So, I just want to give you a couple quick tips on when you buy a lace wig, what to do when you're, um, you're styling it and you're curling it. Number one, uh, when you buy a custom-made lace wig or if you're buying a stock unit from my site, don't cut it right away. I mean, I mean, if you're going to cut it to a very simple and basic style, do that first. And if you're, and if you are, if you do have a longer wig, try to retain the length. So, say for instance, you have an 18-inch wig. Like this is an 18-inch wig. Right now, I have 18-inch wig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it up in buns. I might wear it long and straight and blunt. Um, but I haven't cut it yet. But I will, I will cut it. So, in the next couple weeks. What I'll just, I'm giving you only an example of what I'll do with this wig, but I actually have another wig that I can sh easily show you just on YouTube that I've had one wig and ha I've had like at least four to five different styles with the one wig. So for this wig, I'm going to give you an example. This is a this is the Christina wig on my website, 18 inches. It comes down here. It hasn't been styled yet. It's just long. So what I do is I'll wear it up in buns. I'll wear it half up in buns. I'll wear it out. I'll wear a part in the middle and very blunt, kind of like, um, like a Naomi Campbell look. You know, just straight part in the middle. I might do like a hump right here and very, um, sleek. Okay, when you get tired of that, you might want to cut the, the front into like an angle to make have more of a, um, feathered look in the front. Style number two. Now, this is not included in the times when you're having it up in buns, half buns, body waves. That's a number, style number three. Also, while it's long, which I have a, tutor, a tutorial on how I make big, beautiful volume of uh, body curls with my lace wig. I'll have full lace wigs just flown. It also depends on the, the event. I might be going to a wedding, so you might see a, a nice little um, cascade of body waves. I might do that for a couple of days. Um... In addition to that, I'm going to cut a bang on this wig. I haven't done it yet, but I'm not going to do it as soon because I want to extend the life. Not to extend the life of the wig, but extend the life of the different types of hairstyles that I have with one wig. So keep that in mind when you're wearing your lace wigs. I'm not saying to don't style them and don't curl them at all. But don't be so extreme with that style that that's the only style you're going to be able to have because you want to keep this wig for at least a year. Okay? These wigs should last you at least a year. If you're wearing them every single day, and I'm, I'm only saying this from experience of my clientele, if you're wearing it every single day, you may wear, you might get a good wear out of it, of it for six months straight. After that point, you may need to either add hair. That was it. That's the only thing that a couple people that I have had needed to do. And they may not have sealed their knots every single time they washed it. So granted, they wore that wig every single day for six months with no exaggeration. And they, I'm not sure if they still the knots. I don't know what they do when they go home. But that could have been a reason why it thinned out a little bit. But that's not something that you cannot fix. You can always add hair. Extending the life of the wig, retaining your money, which in turn, you're saving more money. So, those are the tips that I have for today. Style your wig with a very simple cut if you're going to cut it at first. Because most units you will have to cut and style. Number two, wear styles that may need less maintenance like a bun. You know, when you're going to work. Or body waves, spiral curls, um, a wet wavy type style. And then number three, you can even, even, even color it. So you may decide to color it a little bit later. You know, or maybe I might decide, you know, it's long. It's 18 inches. It's down here. Maybe I might color just the tips. I may color, color the, the very bottom three inches. That's additional style. So I'm going to wear it long, sleek, part in the middle, and have the tips colored. So this is one wig, and it's extending the life style of the wig, 
and people keep asking me, do you have a new lace wig on? Now, I don't buy a lot of lace wigs. I keep them and I keep changing the style. When you keep changing the style of the wig and not being so dramatic when you first style the wig, you're going to be able to have that wig for a very, very long time and people are always going to be wondering like, hmm. Now granted, these are people that are my family members. I have yet to have a stranger come up to me and say, um, you ran late week? I mean, I wish I would, you know, consider I'm in the business for it, but I have yet for someone to come up to me and approach me and say, are you wearing a lace wig? And by far, 18 inches is the longest that I personally wear. But hopefully these, these tips will help you. I don't know. I just felt like I should do a quick video about it. And hopefully it will help a couple of people and they'll say, oh, yeah, she's probably right because I got tired of that one style very quickly. So keep that in mind when you're buying your lace wigs and um, when you're styling it and when you're cutting your lace wigs. So hopefully this helps. Until next time.